viewers, it is time to pick my September TBR, but before I go on to the TBR game and the Ultimate Reading Challenge, I will first just go over what I did end up reading for August. So for the TBR game for August, let's see, I read the third Pretty Boy Detective Club book, Pretty Boy in the Attic, which I don't have with me any, <laughs> anymore, I gave it away. Um, but it was just basic pretty boy story where they discover this trove of art um, in this hidden attic room and then they uh, go through this story. The story was so familiar to me. I think it might be based on another one, like a, a different mystery story. But anyway, they had a teacher like at their school who did do the artwork and she had painted this mural in the auditorium and she did this whole thing about how she would make the class disappear. And then they were trying to figure out how they made or how she made all the students in that mural disappear. Um, and that was their big thing where that was just figuring out <laughs> about the artist and how she made the students in her mural disappear. It was fine. <laughs> nothing too great. And again, I don't know what's going on with that series. I know there were more volumes, but I don't know if we'll ever get them printed in North America. Same with the manga. The manga was going well and then just stopped. And I don't know if it's just on pause or if it's like gone for good. I have no idea. But that was it for that one. And then the other one, which I already reviewed, uh, was the most heretical last boss queen from Villainous to Savior. So I've already reviewed this. I'm not going to go over it again, but I have been really enjoying this series and there is now a, an anime for it that's available, I think, on High Dive. Um, so I'm going to be checking out the anime at some point, but I have not gotten to it yet. But I've really, I have been enjoying this one and can't wait to get to you the further future volumes of the light novel. I also really enjoyed the manga, but I don't really understand how that one's done. Because there was like three volumes that I think were done by one artist and then it restarted, uh, I think, this summer? I don't know. Anyway, I was totally confused. I don't understand what's happening with the manga, but I'm definitely continuing the light novel series. So that was that. And then, let's see, for uh, my library book, I had to choose a book that was on display at the library, so uh, I found this on display, and it's Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher. Well, I really enjoy T. Kingfisher, most of the work by T. Kingfisher. Yeah, for the most part. I think all of it, really. Like, some I like better than others, but in general I like it, and this was really good because it was like uh, a new fairy tale. And the main character, she is looking to save her family. Her sister was married off. I should say two of the sisters were married off. The first sister was married off to the prince who became king of the, the kingdom and she dies. And since she didn't have children, her body was returned to them. But then because she died, the second sister was married off to them as well. And she's managed to have children. She had one child but all her subsequent births have not survived and then her daughter dies from an illness and the sister gets pregnant again and <laughs> anyway, the main character I think it was Mara right Mara yeah just making sure sometimes I also listen to the audio and sometimes I <laughs> want to make sure I don't get the names mixed up at all but um Mara ends up going on a journey to find out like what's going on with this line and why there seems to be all of these issues and is there a way to save her sister from this horrible fate because the king is abusive towards her sister. He beats on her and always makes sure that she's getting pregnant and there's like, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. And so she wants to save her sister from this terrible relationship. So she goes on a journey and she's sent on these like impossible quests and has to do them. So again, very fairy, fairy tale esque It's very good. I enjoyed Nettle and Bone very, very much and I would recommend it. Um, this is probably one of my favorites uh, from T. King Fisher. I find a lot more of the fantasy stories to be better from T. King Fisher than the horror. Not that the horror is bad. But a lot of times it's not as horrific as I think some people are looking for in their horror. But anyway, 
I enjoy King Kingfisher and I enjoyed Nettle and Bone, so I would recommend this one. That was my library book. A book that was on display. I don't remember if I said that. Then for the ultimate reading challenge, I completed, let's see, there's one, uh, a book that features an indigenous person. So I've completed this one and I'll show you in just a minute what the choice was. Which is a little, the, the prize for that one is an itty bitty bookmark. That's pretty cute. Very small. Um, <laughs> just, just tossed it and it might have landed on the floor. It's fine. I'll pick it up, put it with my other bookmarks in a minute. And for that one, I read Bad Cree by Jessica Johns. And this was very good. Definitely had creep, creepy, creepy vibes. And I would say if you've read Stephen Graham Jones, um, The Only Good Indians, um, this is a good choice for that. Again, it takes in a lot of indigenous cultures and roots and shares a really good family story. So I really enjoyed this one with the whole family aspect and roots in it. And yes, would recommend Bad Cree. I had a really good time with this book. Uh, I didn't know what to expect going into it, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And it, I've been in like a horror kick, so this definitely like hit the spot with me. The other one I did, um, I had to sort of fudge on only because it was read a book in a genre you've never read before and I literally have read like something in every genre. I'm pretty sure that's the one. <laughs> it, it's fine. Um, so I chose one that I rarely read and this especially was quite different because even, even in the sci-fi genre which is where this fits in it's very different from any other sci-fi book. I personally have ever read and it was several people are typing which is like a very comedic um sci-fi horror kind of story where <laughs> one of the office workers gets trapped in I'm trying to think of the um oh, what's the program slack so <laughs> one of the main workers gets trapped within slack and makes friends with the AI that operates Slack and I don't know they develop like this very strange relationship but then it takes a darker and twistier turn uh, but it's also very humorous in the way that it's written because it is like just a bunch of Slack messages and a lot of weird stuff starts happening so again this is like sci-fi horror and uh, I enjoyed it a lot <laughs> and it isn't like anything that I have ever read I don't think uh the whole um like computer based <laughs> talking like the whole way it's written and even the topic is unlike most of what I've read so I, I think this one does count for that uh and it was fun I would recommend this book so I want to try that out so again those were my August main TBR reads um, let me see what my little prize is. It's like way down in there. I don't know what this is. <laughs> come out, come out, whatever you are. Um, it's an itty bitty marker. So it's just um, a paper clip with a little thing on the top. <laughs> and we'll just, we'll just stick this little guy over here. It's going to live a happy life somewhere. Anyway. That's it for that. Uh, let me see what I have left here because we are getting down to this. I have ask a family member what book has made a lasting impression on them. Find and read that book. Then there's make or order a snack or meal described in a book you've read. So I could mm, maybe have a good treat in one of those. Read in a place you've never read before. That one's going to be hard. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That one's going to be hard. Uh, read a find and read a book that is much longer than your usual reads. I could technically do that one, although again, I, I read a lot. And write a letter to someone who has influenced your reading life. Okay, so let's see. I think maybe I will try to accomplish the find and read a book that is much longer than your usual reads because I do have some really long books that are in my backlog. And then 
I don't, I don't know which other one. Maybe I'll tell you when I get that far, if I do that, because I'm really getting down to the end here. So, um, let me see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only have seven left to go. So I could do like a month where I only do one. I don't know. Or maybe I'll try to finish the write down a favorite quote or passage from a beloved book and display it in your home because I still haven't done that yet and it's very simple. So I might do that one and the find and read a book that is much longer because um, I don't really need like that much else to read, I guess. I don't know. That sounds good to me though. So we'll plan for that. And I think I'll probably end up finishing one of my classics. I do have a couple of classics and they're quite long. Hmm. We'll see. Or I'll pick one of my big fantasy reads. It'll be one of the two because there's a couple that I just tend to put off because they are quite big. Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then lastly, let's do the TBR game because I gotta find my reads for September. So let's see. We're going to start with the library one because that's easy to just find out what topic. Just going to give both decks a quick shuffle here so those cards are ready to go. And now my draw cards. This is like the worst part is just shuffling these. I just want to like pull and go. All right. The draw card is draw from the top. Well, that's easy enough. We're going to go with the first card. And read a book your library has... No, I just did this one. <laughs> I just did it. So, no, I gotta, I gotta tuck that back. We're going to still go with the same thing. I'm just going to go with the next card in line. Read the first book you see that's on your TBR. So, I'll do that one. And I'll leave it out because I'm not sure what that one will be. But as I'm looking um, at the library, I will find... One of my, the first TBR book that I see, I guess. <laughs> and I'll go with that. And now from my shelf. So this will be my light novels. So the first one is pick two cards and decide which one you want to read. All right. Nice. I'm just going to pick two up at random. Got them. And let's see. Read the last book on the bottom of your shelf or read a book with three plus words in the title. And I think I'll do the read a book with three plus words in the title because I'm sure I have a lot of those. And let's see. What would be best? There's so many good ones. Um, there's so many that I want to read. <laughs> um, I think... I think I want to do Maiden of the Needle. This was a recent uh, book pickup for me, and it looks super cute, so I think I'm going to do that for my first book. It's got more than three uh, in the title. And now for my next draw, I'm just going to give another quick shuffle just in case. And the top one is draw five cards. Look at them, put them face down. Shuffle and pick one without looking. And this is, again, when I feel like I get a lot, but that's fine. So then we'll do one, two, three, four, five. So our five are read a book you're most excited to read, read a book that matches your shirt, read a book with your favorite color on the cover, which kind of is also my shirt, um, read a book with a number in the title, which I don't know if I have, and read a book written by a new to you author. So I'm going to shuffle these quickly, and that's probably good enough, um, and I'm just going to grab right in the center. Read a book with your favorite cover, color on the cover. Okay, I just have to find a pink that I like. Got some, got some good pinks here, but I think I'm just going to go with this one because I also really look forward to reading it. And it's Seventh Time Loop. The villainess enjoys a carefree life, married to her worst enemy, Volume 2. And I saw, like, the pink 
on the, the side and there's pink roses on the cover and yeah I also am a really big fan of blue so this combines my pink and blue so I'm going with this one <laughs> so there you have it at least thus far I will be reading a super long book which I have not decided yet but I'll let you know uh, when I pick out October's, oh gosh, October. <laughs> I'll let you know when I choose that. Uh, I will be doing my quote art at some point. Uh, I will grab a book from the library that is from my TBR, and then my two light novels are Maiden of the Needle and Seventh Time Loop Volume 2. So, there you go. And that is it for this video. Until next time, bye. <laughs>